Hi everyone, welcome to our presentation. We are Jane and Tonic. Now we will show you how we worked out the solution of the project to Pitman capture the flight. Our team used two AI methods in our Pitman agent. The first one is the Hadoop state search A star, and the second one is the James theory method, meaning match with alpha beta pruning. The goal of our two agents is to attack, eating as much food as possible in enemy's territory, and to defend, preventing the attack from another side. After we did several set of experiments, we decided to use these two methods in offense mode and use conservative defense mode. Here is our strategy design. Both our agents are offense agents at the beginning. Our Pitman will keep attacking unless they meet some specialties. Our attack agent will transform to defense agent if we meet opponent Pitman within six grids. We also work out a solution for specialties. For example, our agent can intercept opponent Pitman in unfavorable condition and eat capsules for self-saving in dangerous situations. There are several scenarios to use a star. First, go back home. If we search the, if we reach the goal state, that is when we only lift two pilots when we attack, we will use a star to go back home. Second, seek capsules. If our Batman are detected by opponent's ghost, we will use a star to let Batman seek the closest capsule. If there are no capsule, we will use a star to go back home. Third. Waiting for next attacking opportunity. When Batman goes back home, and if its carrying food is less than two, we will use A star to let Batman go to the closest opponent food. A star is very useful in our strategy. Our Batman always can eat a capsule or escape home successfully when we are chased by the ghost. The weakness is that sometimes we want to detour, but A star always gives us the shortest path. Alpha beta pruning is an algorithm that can decrease the node searched by minimize. We use it to evaluate our state and opponent state to help our agent find the best action. As for the search depths, we found that it's a trade-off between accuracy and consuming time. Finally, we found three is the most suitable value. The good thing about alpha beta pruning is that it's a fast way to consider the opponents in the search and get a good action back. The disadvantage is that sometimes we cannot observe opponents' location, and the search will return the wrong direction. Here is our demo with another team. We are the red team. Both our agents are in offensive mode to eat as much food as possible. When we are chased by the opponent ghost, we will search for the closest capsules in order for self-saving. As you can see, our attacking speed is very fast. Finally, we win this round. We also face challenges in this project. For example, our agent still cannot perform well in layout which contain narrow tunnels and pilots hidden in the farthest tunnels. Our Padma will be stuck in the dead end and eaten by ghost. Besides, our defensive strategy still need improvement. Our agents can hardly track opponents in some scenarios. We tried our performance in pre-competition for several days. Even if it can come back to top each time, the ranking is depending on layout and changed dramatically. Every day we check the replay and modify parameter to improve our performance. In this project, we use two AI methods in offense mode and gain the decent result. If we have more time, we would like to use inference model to improve or defensive mode. We are inspired by Berkeley Project 4, which used inference model to locate the enemy and attack enemy more efficiently. Inference model works better by calculating the probability of the noise distance and update it consequently, where two agents defend together and lost the chance to attack at the same time. Besides, some parameters in our program perhaps are not the most optimal. If we have more time, we will try to find the best fits. Thanks for this subject, thanks for team and Nir's awesome lectures. We indeed learn a lot from it. 
This subject is very interesting, and we will continue to explore more AI knowledge in the future. Thanks for watching.